I have just enough time to tie my hair and talk to you about what I just did. Oh, by the way, yesterday I worked a 5 o'clock and a 7 p.m. job. The 5 o'clock was a, oh, Ikea bunk bed. And you know how like when you get assigned or request for Ikea, it'll say like this kind of wardrobe set excluding packs because the packs is just so long and tall and I think that in itself takes a longer time than any other wardrobe so it like it specifically makes you write that I think on the client's end. But anyway, I didn't know that there's a bunk bed that also makes you write a specific model they don't want you to do and I know why because it requires it requires because some like some bed frames they'll say oh it requires two people or flipping over the table requires two people but you can get by you know it's pretty light uh but this one there is no way you can do this by yourself without breaking something it's called the smastad or something like waiting on the client it's raining so hard today it's kind of crazy look at that plant it looks so pretty back i just realized i haven't built yet um but i got another mystery cut and then i cut myself trying to put this metal shelving together um i like was using a flathead screwdriver and i just slipped and then i didn't think i cut myself and then i saw a, dro a drop of blood on the carpet which by the way the ellie's totally awesome spray that i have it's this color I put it in this bottle but it's not this thing um, you can get it at the dollar store. That takes off blood off carpet. Like It's been raining almost every day and like it's been blistering cold. So I'm like so surprised that it's actually sunny outside. I just worked a 9.45 to 12.45 job, three hours. I didn't expect it to be that long. Uh, I was just going to take it easy today because I've been working a lot of long days. But turns out that was longer. And also... I don't have any jobs booked tomorrow, so. What you doing, Lily in the bed? Just pulled over, because I have a freaking splinter in my finger and I cannot drive 20 minutes like this. No. Got it. Can you see it? Hold on. You see that? This thing? That was in my freaking face. Take a picture of the hinge that I was trying to replace for my client. Why am I so red? I don't know. It had like an even more pronounced angle than this one. This is from the brand Hetic. I don't know if you can see it in there. Hetic, which Home Depot doesn't carry, but I found four of these there at Home Depot. And I was trying to replace one that kind of was similar to this um where the second portion of the cabinet hinge is installed pretty far away from the edge uh as compared to most cabinet doors it took me so long to figure out with home depot how they were going to charge me and they were looking it up by brand and looking it up by a model number any number to try to find some kind of skew but they didn't so i went to the customer or the person that was working that section then they were like oh i don't know i can't i can't i don't see it da, da, da. i was like okay i'm in a little bit of a rush so can i just go to the cashier maybe they could help me and he's like okay so i went to the cashier they didn't know either so she was like they can't even find the brand i say go to customer service went to customer service and they were like you know what there's nothing we can do just take it and i just got it for free anyway so happy so happy you know I keep going on a freaking rant about this, but there is nothing like loving what you do and getting freaking post work high from getting from from your job because I've never really felt that way. Like excited that I did a good job or I excited that I figured it out. Like the only post work high that I would feel in all of the previous jobs and you know different careers that I've had in the past is post work high because I'm off of work okay the post work high I get now is because I feel accomplished as fuck anyway
Hello friends, I am here with the baby Shuguru today. I slept with my hair all wet last night so it feels like still oily even though I washed my hair and took a shower, a good shower yesterday. Um, anyway, oh, scary. I had a nine o'clock job which was putting up four shelves. I was done in an hour. And then I had a 12.30 job. So I came home after that, went to my 12.30 job, which was, oh my gosh, I think the Ikea Vidka or something. It's like these, this kind of tatami mat kind of texture, straw. Then at the top of the panel and the bottom of the panel, you have to clip on this uh, metal, uh, metal piece so that you can hang one end and then the other end so that it gives it more weight so it doesn't keep curling up so that took almost like <laughs> almost like an hour and a half <laughs> Forest. But the beauty of Washington is that there are just so many beautiful parks in the city. So just gonna see where this ends up and hope that I can still make it to my job at three o'clock. <laughs> I found a spot to take a little lunch in, but I don't have any food with me. Wow, so pretty. Look, it's definitely too cold this one. No matter how far I try, life Hello there. Long time no see, long time no car content. Actually, I think there might have been, but anyway. I was, I have been working every single day. I have not had very many issues with booking jobs. It's been quite busy now that it's gotten significantly warmer. Well, it's not actually just gonna be for this weekend and we're back to high 50s, thunderstorms and rain again next week. But I think beyond that, uh, we may have summer, like similar to summer-like weather. But we'll see, I am driving to Chehalis which is a city that I do not live anywhere close to. <laughs> I'm driving there because my middle school friend, I met her in middle school, okay? Middle school in Hawaii, Washington Middle. Uh, and we have, uh, we went to high school all the way up to junior year. Actually, I went to Kaimaki for a little bit and came back. Did we meet in middle school? Yeah, we did. My memory is so bad. Uh, but anyway, my high school friend, my middle school friend, we went to high school in Hawaii till junior year and then I wanted to get state residency for the state of Washington. So she and her mom happened to want to move out of Hawaii and live in Washington. They were like, they gave me like the opportunity of a lifetime. Um, but anyway, so that friend, uh, after I moved back to Hawaii and moved back or moved to like a different town in Washington and like moved back and forth and then moved back to Hawaii and then moved to California, all that, this whole entire time she continued to stay in Washington and moved around. But now she lives um, pretty far from me, maybe like, two, three hours away from where I live now in Washington. Uh, but we wanted to meet up because we haven't seen each other in about 11 years, I wanna say. See you too. These are our nails. Oh yes. So you're gonna do, what are you gonna do again? 
coating, medical coating with yes. your nails, and I'm gonna do hand with my nails. Me <laughs> there to live and shout it loud every single time.